Etsy, I got a kit of this next 3D CNC router for free. The dimensions of the mechanics are approximately 46 times 49 times 42 centimeters at a mass of 11 kilograms. The axis can move for 32 times 29.5 times 9 centimeters. The next 3D series is available in various dimensions, and as small is beautiful is the mantra I am preaching, I have ordered version S, which is the most compact machine offered by GoCNC. The aluminum base plate with T slots seen here is available as an option. The build instruction uses not many words, but is full of detailed drafts and photos. The tools needed for the assembly are not part of the kit, building the mechanics is targeted to advanced tinkerers, skills and a toolset are basic requirements. For an extra charge you can order a fully assembled next 3D. I needed two days for the build process, however I took many photos and a couple of video sequences during the assembly. You can have a look at many of those photos on my pages to get an impression of the steps needed to put all parts together. The result is a very sturdy mechanics, the frame is composed of thick aluminum profiles as well as 8mm steel plates. All axes are driven by powerful stepper motors through spindles, the lead nuts are made of brass. The Y axis of this portal machine is driven by just one stepper motor. The second spindle is coupled with the first one through a toothed belt. The axes are guided along the inside of special aluminum profiles by ball bearings with brass rollers. The pre-stress applied to the aluminum profiles is adjusted in such a way that a side load of approximately 2 kilograms is needed to move the mechanics. An aluminum cover and rubber lips protect the mechanics of the Y axis from entering particles. The driver board for the stepper motors is part of the kit, it has an interface for a parallel port. Nowadays computers usually don't have a parallel port, however the pin layout of the connector is part of the documentation so that you can build your own electronics if needed. I am using the G-Code processor 3D that is offered by GoCNC as an option. There is an ATmega 328P with an Arduino bootloader running Garbel version 0.9 inside the housing. Garbel is open source, so that you can flash an adopted version whenever it's needed. You can send G-Code commands through the terminal window of the Arduino IDE to see if your mechanics works properly. A more comfortable way of controlling the next 3D is the Universal G-Code Sender, an open source software based on Java. Same as with the Arduino IDE, you can use it to send commands directly. Before turning on the next 3D, make sure that none of the axes touches an end switch. Only with all switches open you can start the homing process by sending the command $H. As you can see, it works perfectly on the Z-axis. However, the X-axis moves into the wrong direction, away from the end switch. The emergency stop doesn't cut off the electric power, it only sends a high signal to one of the pins on the interface. Garbel doesn't observe that pin so that this switch is without any function. To stop the machine during a malfunction you must turn it off, so that all motors are disabled immediately. Even then, the G-Code processor is still powered through the USB interface, so that the firmware continues running until the homing process stops with an error message. You can also stop the running process and so power off all motors immediately by pressing the button Soft Reset. 
the reasons for the failed homing procedure are wrong parameters in Garbel. With dollar dollar you can list all parameters stored in the firmware. Set value dollar twenty three to one in Garbel to change the location of the end switch on the X axis. Set dollar three to two to change the direction of movement of the Y axis. With dollar one hundred thirty one you can adjust the distance of travel of the Y axis, that is two hundred ninety five millimeters for the next three D, and finally ninety millimeters is the travel of the Z axis. After making those changes you can restart the homing process and as you can see the next 3D performs that command correctly now. Besides sending commands through a terminal you can move the axis with your mouse... ...or keyboard. With a mouse click you can send all axes to the point of origin. Zero for the Z axis is the highest point of movement, which is driven first. With the configuration of Garble I have chosen, the point of origin in the XY plane is on the front left of the machine. Through a menu you can choose a G-code file stored on your computer. The stored data is transferred to the next 3D with a click on the button Send. Without having a spindle, the file is plotted with a pen. You can speed up the machine by setting a couple of parameters in the G-code file as well as in the firmware. A CNC router is more complex to use than your office printer. You can visualize the progress in a new window of the universal G-code sender. The operating system on my old workshop laptop is Linux Mint in version 18.3. You can clearly hear the powerful stepper motors turning, a CNC router is no machine for your office. The next 3D was not designed to be a plotter, you can see what this machine can do with a powerful spindle in subsequent videos. You can read more about this next 3D and the software I'm using on my pages. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.